this was a, a natural history institution that was on the campus from about 1888, I think, till 1940 or so, when it was destroyed. And I love that idea because what I needed was a, uh, a model for us to work with that was all about parts, little parts, so that all the students could make little sections and compartmentalize bits of work, and then it would all come together, and because it's all cardboard and black paint, it all kind of holds together as a a gestalt, a whole, a whole environment. And I love the, I love natural history museums, and I, and I kind of liked how, um, how authoritative they pretend to be, and I kind of wanted to use that feeling and kind of find ways to tweak it here and there, and uh, find levels of us making commentary on stuff or, or twist things around a little bit. Not be historians about it, but be artists. one of the students in the class, Sherry, and um, she got excited about this idea of kind of like speculative, um, you know, like that there's a sense of that natural history museums present a kind of a moment from the moment we are back into the past, and the moment that we are looking back is supposedly authoritative about what actually happened, and often we know now, you know, for instance, apparently dinosaurs had feathers, right? So there's things we're learning that are completely always constantly undercutting a lot of things in what seemed like an authoritative thing of the science at the time. So she had this idea, I think I mentioned to her, I'd love to see one of those kind of, you know, uh, pro pro progression of, of, of evolution of man kind of scenarios. So she came up with this idea of them kind of, you know, slowly bending over and getting more erect. And then this one is, I think, modern man. And then she decided to make this one that um, uh, is kind of like the speculation of the future man. So got this larger brain, I guess, and I believe, she, I think she said that it's, it's lost its pinkies, you know, which is apparently supposed to happen. Um, so that's an example of like where she kind of picked up on that, that clue of like how to make something, you know, not good science and it's not good history, but it's something that we can do. In this. 